Om Shanti. Welcome to 31st of October's Godly Blessing. Here in this today's blessing, we're going to learn some things about faith. We're going to learn some things about having free will, being free from worry also. And that is going to happen only with one concept and that is love. And not just love, fire of love. So in this beautiful Varda, our blessing God says, May your intellect have faith and be free from any worry by finishing all worries in the fire of love. Whose love? In the fire of God's love, obviously. So God here says, The children whose intellects have faith remain free from any worry in all situations. Now faith in what? Faith in God, faith in self, faith in the trauma, and faith that we are powerful enough to overcome any situation. All of their worries have finished. When we have received God as a guide, then obviously we don't need to think as much we have been thinking before we received Him or we got to know Him. We were full of worries then. And now once we get to know Him, we focus on our karmas, we focus on our thoughts. Thoughts are the first level of karma, by the way. And when we focus on our thoughts, we start attracting wonderful things, good things in our life. The Father has lifted you off the pyre of worries and seated you on the heart throne. Pyre of worries. Imagine the word pyre of worries. That means you are burning with worries. You had love for the Father and on the basis of this love, all of your worries finished in this fire of love. As though they didn't exist. Now if you have love for the Creator, obviously, our mind is going to be having only one line of thoughts. That is love for the Creator. Automatically, once we have love for the Creator, we are already less worries are revolving in our mind, in our intellect. Because the more we focus on those impure energies or worryful energies or fearful energies, the more they grow, the more we attract those things. So when we are in love with the Creator, only focus on the love, full relationship with the Creator, automatically our mind dissolves these worries. It knows that God is there, my Father is there, my Baba is there and He's going to guide me. Then... God says, you had love for the Father and on the basis of this love, all of your worries finished in this fire of love. Now, that fire has to grow on a daily basis, as much as possible, monthly basis, yearly basis, it has to grow. Sometimes it goes down, goes up, right? We all experience all those things in Brahma Kumaris. No worries of the body, no wasteful worrying in the mind and no worries of the wealth. What will happen? How will it happen? And God says, this is something which is possible only when we are detached from our physical self. See, this body is the conscious self. Soul is the subconscious self. We have given away a lot of energy to this conscious body. And we are now taking back that energy from the conscious body by cancelling out the thoughts which pull us towards the body. So God says, you now know everything with the power of knowledge. Therefore, you have gone beyond all worries and your life has become free of all worries. You now know everything with the power of knowledge. Therefore, you have gone beyond all worries and your life has become free from of all worries. Now, what is this knowledge? See, science is trying to tell us and teach us a lot of things. It's trying to find out about consciousness. It's trying to find out about thoughts. It's trying to find out about the cosmos. It's trying to find out about the world beyond. It's trying to find out about the space behind the two eyes, behind this forehead, the consciousness where it lives. It's trying to find out about the brain. But God over here has directed us directly, crossing all these boundaries which science is not able to cross because consciousness is not, not something which you can be put into a box or can be put into can be put into physical terms. Consciousness is non-physical. And that's where soul consciousness, soul is non-physical entity, that comes in. Whereas science is stuck with atom. And we are going towards Atma, another word for soul. So God says, if you become soul conscious and you cancel out body conscious thoughts as much as possible, your thoughts become pure. So the more the purer your thoughts are, the more attractive you are. What do you attract? Not this physical attraction. Attractive means that means you are able to attract more powerful things, more successful instances, lesser situations. Even if situations try to come in front of you, you are able to overcome them easily. Therefore, you have gone beyond all worries and your life has become free of all worries. And how do we stand or 
how do we put ourselves into that state of mind of soul consciousness is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. You two are most welcome to learn this art. Om Shanti with this.